Right. Continuing with our media availability this morning at Dover International Speedway, we've now been joined by Brian Scott, driver of the number two Shore Lodge Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Um, Brian, just to kind of open um, open it up this morning, talk a little bit about your visit yesterday um, to Walter Reed. Uh, we had an amazing visit uh, to Walter Reed. Uh, the whole NASCAR community really came out and supported it. We got to meet some amazing wounded warriors, um, see an incredible facility and the a, a team of uh, doctors and nurses and everybody that takes care of our veterans when they come home or they have injuries and uh, it's a really eye-opening experience. It's my first time ever being to Walter Reed. Uh, I know a couple members from the media were there. It was great to see that. I'm sure that they can echo my sentiment on just uh, how rewarding it is to be able to get to do those type of things and uh, see the men and women who have put, our li put their lives on the line to uh, protect our freedoms and give us the life and the freedom we have to do what we love, which is uh, racing. And switching gears to Dover, you have a truck series win here. Um, you're set currently seventh in the Nationwide Series points. Talk a little bit about your mindset coming into Dover this weekend. I get excited every time I come to Dover. Obviously, the, the Camping World Truck Series win in 2009, uh, always, I remember that pretty clearly. And I feel like every time I come here that I have the opportunity to win. I've had some good runs in the Nationwide Series. Uh, our Richard Childress Racing, we tested here earlier this year, um, and it was cool, and, and the weather conditions were really similar to what we're seeing today, and when we came back, it was actually before the first Dover race, it was really hot and slick, and uh, it wreaked a little bit of havoc on us, but we're excited that it's cool now, and, uh, and more like how we tested, we feel like we have a good setup, uh, we feel like we know what we need to do to be competitive here, and uh, we know what springs and shocks and everything we need to have in our Shore Lodge Camaro to go out there and have a chance at winning it tomorrow. All right. We'll go ahead and open for questions for Brian. All right. Brian, Rich Colbert with the Motor Racing Network. Uh, looking to next week, Kansas, your nationwide race. Are you guys ready for that race, and what's your outlook on it? <laughs> well, I'm excited for Kansas, which is... I don't know, maybe some people wouldn't be. Last trip to Kansas, we qualified second or third, ran second or third for the first run of the race, uh, and then I spun out, which was the first of, I think, three spin outs. Um, we just could not get a handle on our car. It proved to be very difficult and challenging uh, and personally an embarrassing race for me. So uh, I'm actually excited uh, after such a devastating or, or bad trip last time to get back there and to clear my memory of that and go out there and have a strong run. Uh, I don't see any reason, especially with the performance of Richard Childress Racing on the mile and a half, that we can't go there, be fast, have a good uh, qualifying effort and a strong run, and be up front, and hopefully uh, somebody from the Richard Childress Racing stable uh, be in contention to win that race. All right. We'll get a mic to the... There we go. David Carroll, NASCAR.com. Brian announced a few days ago you're going to make your cup debut. Can you talk about a little bit how that came together and what your expectations of that are? Uh, I guess that started coming together uh, towards the end of last season when we started talking to Richard Childress Racing and coming over there and putting together a nationwide series program. They knew all along, and we knew all along, at least our intentions were, uh, to not kind of stick or be stuck in the nationwide series. And when we made that move to Richard Childress, we wanted uh, some type of light at the end of the tunnel, the ability to, I, I guess, to, uh, to make some starts in the, the Sprint Cup series. Uh, and it's something that we've talked about, and we knew it was going to be later in the year this year. We knew that they needed to have the car availability, uh, the wherewithal, basically, to put it together. And when Austin started running and he went through some of the, the deals and the transitions that he's going to be going through next year, uh, I think that the inventory opened up. Um, they have a more clear understanding and a picture of what they need to do to run. Uh, the number 33 car, uh, and they, they're not running it every week, so that puts some opportunities in front of us to be able to do that, you know, for Charlotte and hopefully uh, maybe another race or two this year, and uh, we're looking at putting together, um, you know, about five races next year, too. Man, that's something that I go back and forth on. I know you need to, uh, expectations is a hard thing when you look at an inaugural Sprint Cup Series start. Obviously, the, the competitor inside each of us and the competitor inside me wants to go out there and have a good run, like a top 10 run. Uh, yet, I think that uh, everybody in this room, including myself, has enough knowledge in NASCAR to know the chances of that, the, how hard and competitive that series is and 
how everything would really have to go perfect for a first start to, to have a top 10 finish. Uh, so instead, I, I want to say my expectations are uh, first and foremost to stay on the lead lap. I think if you can stay on the lead lap, not go a lap down, uh, that puts you in position for a lot of things. Uh, and second, I'd say a top 20 would be good and a top 15 would be really, really great. All Thank right. you. Additional questions for Brian? Okay, get a mic to Lee, and then we'll come to the back. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Where have you tested so far in a cup car? And, and um, I guess that's pretty much a, that. And, and what are your plans for next season? Um, well, this year I've not done any sprint cup testing. I've not tested a Generation 6 car. Uh, but the Generation 5 car, during my time and tenure at Joe Gibbs Racing, I did a lot of testing for them. Uh, I've done some testing for what was uh, Everham Motorsports before, um, and we have a plan. I think for uh, two evening day or two evening tests. I think October first and second at Charlotte Motor Speedway with the Generation Six car with the 33 guys that uh, are going to be putting together the effort for uh, the Charlotte Sprint Cup race. Uh, oh, and my plans for next year. The plans for next year are still uh, full season and nationwide. And we're working with some, some sponsorship things that we hope can come together to give the number two car a little bit different look. And uh, also, we're going to sprinkle in at least five Sprint Cup races and hopefully some more if we can, uh, like I said, if we can get the money in the sponsorship. And uh, if Richard Childress Racing has the wherewithal and the inventory and stuff to make it work. All right. If we can get a microphone. There we go. Thank you. Kelly Kreiner from Speedway Media. Brian. Just assess maybe your first year with coming over to Richard Childress Racing, how that's gone. Are you on par with how you feel you should be? And then second, coming from a few years with Joe Gibbs Racing now to Richard Childress Racing, that you, you're with some of the top teams in the Nationwide Series. Is there any at all frustration that it's taken you, you've still not been able to break through to victory lane? Um, well, well, first off, you know, in the Camping World Truck Series, we had some successes. I've won two races. Uh, we had a good year over there, even with, uh, you know, I came here in 2009. I won the race, and then two weeks later, I broke my wrist, and I had to deal with a broken wrist for a year, and we still had a, a chance at a top five in the points um, and had a really good season there. And then really since I came into the Nationwide Series, I've really just been kind of beat up. You know, I spent uh, a year over at Braun Racing, uh, and then that folded into Turner. Um, and kind of had a hectic end of the last season. I landed at Joe Gibbs Racing, which was a great opportunity, and we just never produced the results that I think was expected from myself or anybody else. Uh, and I didn't know really what to expect with Richard Childress Racing, but I did know that at the end of my second year with Gibbs, a change in scenery was going to be the best thing for me. Uh, and since coming here, it's really reinvigorated me. Uh, I think it's... Um, it reminds me of the Camping World Truck Series day. I, I feel like I can go out there, I can compete, I can run in the top five, uh, and I can win races. Uh, we've established consistency this year uh, that I think a lot of people didn't think I was capable of after a couple of hard seasons over at Joe Gibbs Racing. And, uh, you know, with recent developments, I, I feel like we can be up there and contending for the win week in, week out, uh, and win some races. I don't think that there's any race from now until the end of the season that's uh, a track that we are incapable of winning at. Uh, so I'm excited. I, I like the change. I like the consistency that's developed at Richard Childress Racing. I like my group of guys on this number two. Uh, and I think our performance has shown this year. I think uh, we performed at a higher level. Additional questions for Brian? All right. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you, guys.